messages from Toy Accordingly's boyfriend and father have been shared at her funeral, as her murder on a beach in far north Queensland remains unsolved. Hundreds of people attended the service in Cairns to date to farewell the 24-year-old, who was found dead at Wangeti Beach, north of the city, almost a fortnight ago. She had been taking her dog for a walk. A written message from Ems Cordingley's boyfriend Marco Heidenray each was read out by the celebrant, David Country. I will always love you with all that I am. You will forever be in my mind and in my heart, as you always were before, he read. David Country said even though Ems Cordingley's life was cut short, people should cherish the good times with her. These are memories we want to keep, not the bad ones. She was a loving person and that is the only way to remember her, he said. Mr. Country also read a message written by her father to his little girl. I know that you are with me now and will forever be with me until one day we are together again. My love for you is boundless and cannot be surpassed, my brightness, my toy he said. A family friend who attended the funeral, David Trimble, said he could not describe what her devastated family was going through today. There's no word for it. I feel for them, so does everyone, he said. It's a very sad day for Cairns. The mourners at her funeral hugged one another underneath a giant unicorn balloon. Her coffin was covered in fresh sunflowers, her favorite flower. The huge turnout was expected, given how the case has rocked the Cairns community. The pharmacy worker and animal refuge volunteer has been described as a shining light and absolutely lovely on social media. I've known her since she was a little girl and her family, Cairns Tattoo artist Dwayne Cash said. It's a terrible thing that's happened to her. He hopes to raise $20,000 for the family through a tattoo fundraiser on Sunday. Despite a massive police investigation, Ems Cordingley's killer remains at large. Crime Stoppers has received more than 600 calls from the public. Police have released CCTV of Ems Cordingley in the hours before she was killed, and have searched for a family seen having picnic near the crime scene on the afternoon of the attack.